Hi everyone, just a quick message to talk about my next Flaming Pie Songwriters Club. Um, it will be all about the Beatles, most specifically my relationship uh, as a writer with John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Now, the Beatles are held up by most songwriters, I would say, uh, as being one of the influences, of, if, if not the influence, um, uh, on, on their music and their creations. Now, why do we think that is? Well, I think there's something really special about the way that John Lennon and Paul McCartney um, work together. Um, a very, very strong relationship. Um, you know, I think a lot of the times they were sparking off each other and actually challenging each other to come up with great music. Um, but I think, you know, the Beatles, uh, alongside actually, you know, George Harrison was a fantastic writer as well. But I think the Beatles have now become so ingrained in the human DNA that we take them for granted. And I want to look at that and talk about that with you because you've got to put yourself back in the time when those songs emerged and how they embraced their generation and created a sense of hope and positivity for the future. And then went on and created some of the most in innovative music of all time. I mean, from 1967, when Sgt Pepper was released, records have not been the same, same since. Uh, and I want to discuss that. Why is that? Um, you know, it's not just about the chord progressions and not just about the melodies. It's about their approach to the whole process of writing songs and expanding and pushing the envelope, trying to find new ways of doing things. And technically, these records were astounding. You know, they were really were at the cutting edge of, of recording, even though it was four track at the time and all the rest of it. The way that they put those records together and use this as an experiment um, to see whether things would work is extraordinary because the art remained intact. It wasn't just a kind of, I don't know, self-indulgent process. They actually came out with amazing music and incredible songs. Um, so yeah, I want to talk about that, and I want to talk about how those uh, their, their great songs impacted on me as a writer. I mean, take a song like Womankind, for instance, or When Will We Learn, um, you know, or Don't Pray For Me. All of those songs have their feet, their feet firmly rooted in, in the world of the Beatles in many ways. Uh, I was kind of infiltrated by the Beatles very, very early on. Uh, my dad used to play their music in our house all the time. And so I think I sort of absorbed it, you know. Um, and I was born in 1967 as well. So that was the year that, um, like I say, it all it, it sort of erupted in, 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 in lots and lots of ways. So um, I hold their music very, very dearly. And I still am informed by it every single day. I still play their music very, very regularly. And it still, uh, it still has as much of an influence and impact on me today as it did back then. So we'll talk about that. Um, and pick it apart. Now, it may be that you're not a fan of the Beatles. I'd like to, you know, um, discuss that. Maybe you, you think they're not all that, or maybe they're being overhyped. Um, we can discuss that. Um, but maybe you, you've lived with them in the same way as I have, and they've been a huge influence on you and your musical sort of uh, career, if you like, your, your uh, evolution as a music fan. So, yes, yeah, so join me on the Flaming Pie Songwriters Club, where we can talk about the Beatles. <laughs>